morning guys welcome back to another trucking vlog it is monday we just did a 34 we literally did a 34 and now we got up and we're we did a pre-trip now we're rolling uh we're still gonna be an hour and a half late but i had to get it would you shut the hell up dude i fucking hate that thing oh my god sometimes it doesn't even do it like i'll just be like on the rumble strip and it doesn't even make a noise and then i like don't even touch the line and it just freaking bugs the hell out Ugh. But we did a pre-trip this morning. Woke up as soon as our... You know, boys, I ain't even gonna lie. I think uh, Rudders... I think that's how it's pronounced. This is Rudders. Uh, it's only here in, like, the East Coast, apparently. But I've only seen them in Pennsylvania. This might be my new favorite truck stop. Uh, it might pass up loves. So I'm gonna be honest. Their food in here is, like, made-in-house food. And uh, it's just delicious, dude. I always get, like, a burger with like American cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, and some black pepper, dude. And their burgers are so freaking good. And then I tried their fries today. Last time I got like a eight count of their boneless wings and those were delicious, but I was like, I don't need wings today. So I just got some fries and the fries were delicious too. So if you drive trucks or you live near Rudders and you've never had it, this is my saying, to you is go try rudders because it's really good like i literally stopped at this place it's literally off the interstate by like a mile or whatever but i saw the sign and i was like i hope they have truck parking because not all of them have truck parking but occasionally they do and i was like well i'll just go down there and if they don't then i'll just get back on the interstate and they had parking and diesel pumps and everything and i want them to expand i want them to be everywhere dude because their food is so good and it's pretty cheap i think i got i got a burger fries and a bottle of coke for like nine dollars that's pretty good i'm not like i know it sounds a little expensive but it, like it's pretty good for like i mean like you can go to mcdonald's and get something cheaper but this is also a bottle of coke it probably would have been like eight something if i got a fountain drink so yeah, try rudder. So some of you might remember this place. Last time we were here, it was a drop and hook. This time it's a live unload. My appointment was at noon, but I had to get a 34 in, so it's 1.30. I'm an hour and a half late. Cornell said they're gonna unload me, but he also said that there's another GP driver that came here this morning, and his appointment was like at eight, and he got here at like nine, and they told him they weren't gonna unload him. So I have a feeling that we're not getting unloaded, and they'll have to reschedule, but I guess we'll see. I'm gonna go try to talk to the guard shack but last time i was here they just were kind of rude so we'll find out here in a second i'll be right back with you guys all right we got a back into door 23 so they are going to take it i think what cornell was trying to say though is they took forever this morning to unload the other guy because when i got here he was in the door so i'm just gonna make a right hand turn here it's gonna be a little tricky supposed to be a straight back but it's all good all right let me go uh, open my other door now we're going to door 23 over here Got the tandems all the way to the rear. I need to adjust my GoPro. I'm gonna do that. Just like butter, sort of. I nailed that. I nailed it. So we got unloaded in like 25 minutes. Um, and now we're going to our next pickup, which it's only like 400 mile, uh, miles, I think. Um, hopefully we can get something out of this area tomorrow. We gotta go down to Maryland, 
which we got to go around Baltimore, which is going to suck because Baltimore traffic sucks. And then we got to go up to New York from Maryland. So it's only like 400 miles total. So I don't know where I'm going to stop tonight yet, but I figured I'll figure that out once I get to the shipper. I would just go park at the place overnight, but I can't do that. So don't have enough time to make it there. Otherwise I would, but we got a hundred miles there and then uh, probably driving at least another hundred miles this way and then try to find somewhere to stop, you know, in a couple hours after we pick it up. Try to shut down around like nine, I think, hopefully. Well, we don't even have enough time for nine o'clock. We only have five hours of drive time when we get to this place. I know it says it's 98 miles, but it's saying it's going to take two hours because we're driving like back road highways and stuff. So, all right, I'm going to get off the road. Uh, he told me whichever door comes open next, I back into, but there's like a spot where I think I can back into for now while I wait. So that's what we're going to do. If this swift driver would, or variant would get out of here I'm just gonna back into this thing right here should be pretty easy maybe in here for now and then one of these doors will open and then I'll just take that and get loaded hopefully not too long here it should be a pretty easy back end too I think I need to find out how far I can go back Hopefully it's not this first door here that they're pulling out. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be a little fun back here. I need to go back just a little bit before I start putting it in. I nail that. Can't really see. I think we nailed it, bro. So they have door rippers here. And they pull up to the left a little bit and go right. And that way I can push it away from that door ripper and then I'll cut it in. Is that good enough? I can't see that door ripper on this side. Yeah, it looks good enough. we're good so we just got loaded uh like literally like two miles ago um 
I did the route for this, okay? And uh, the first route is 256 miles, which is what Garmin's want me to take. But I looked at the roads and it's like a lot of back road driving and I don't want to do that. So 300, cause I'm also going to need a truck stop to stop at tonight and two lane highways. There's not very many truck stops you can find. So I have to go 316 miles and uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I can get right out of Baltimore. It's like my biggest concern right now is like Baltimore, like taking forever. This is a super light load though. It's like five, six pallets and it's just cardboard boxes. So I'm pretty much empty. Um, I'm not even gonna scale. It doesn't say the weight, but I got in the back to strap it because they had it stacked pretty high. Well, they had it two pallets high, but I just wanted to strap it because I know cardboard might fall off. So, and then if it gets bent, you know, then it's just a hassle. So I just strapped it down. Um, and yeah, we have 319 miles and we'll probably deliver it tomorrow around like 10 a.m. or so. Um, I'm gonna drive another couple hours and then try to find a truck stop. There's like a Flying J and a Pi or a TA that have parking all day, so I'll probably make it up there. It's kind of a far drive to those locations though, so have like no miles to drive tomorrow, which is good because then tomorrow I can knock out some more miles for the week. So we'll just try to drive as much as we can today. When we start to feel tired, we'll shut down. Well, I decided to take the back road drive because um, it's like 70 miles shorter and I'm light. So these hills aren't gonna be much. Um, there's a pilot up here that says that there's parking, which sucks because there's a rudders down the road and I love parking, going to rudders, but you can't turn left into the rudders from this direction, so. Um, we're just gonna park here for the night, I guess. Looks like there's enough spots here. I'm guessing these are probably reserved. Yep. Right. See, so can I get back here? a spot there oh Schneider got his fender ripped off damn bro that sucks is this an oversize no I'm try to back in side of that white one.
guys still over there? <sighs> Schneider really got his stuff jacked, bro. Damn. Come on, everything is a okay when you're riding with Jay. Keep those wheels turning and we do this every day. Backing up a trailer, look at all the roads I've driven. Come and ride with me, yeah. Let me show you how I'm living. Come on.